I'm ready to go. All right. So we're gonna do two times each circuit, one minute each exercise. Four exercises within a circuit. That's the other piece of information. So we're starting with sumo squat. So you can hold a dumbbell right at your chest, which I would suggest. Or you can hold it right between your legs. So your sumo squat, feet are wide, toes point out. You know the drill here. You're going to sit down and up. Then we're going to go into an Arnold press. Palms are going to face you. Elbows are up. You're going to open up, press, bring it back in. From there, we're going into a sumo deadlift. So you can just leave your legs just as they are. You're going to bring your weights down, and you're going to hinge at your hip. So the difference between the squat and the deadlift is what you do with your with your butt, with your hips. For the squat, you drop them straight down. For the deadlift, you push them back, okay? And then we're gonna go into a lateral raise. So glutes and shoulders here. Ready? Starting with that sumo squat, one minute. In three, two, one, sumo squat. I'm just gonna take this first round to warm up a little bit. Put it back, squeeze it up. Halfway, 30 seconds. You have a whole minute to get into these exercises today. Take your time. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, Arnold press. Bring them up, push. You can leave your feet right where they are. They're going to stay there for our deadlift. Keep those elbows up. Thirty seconds. If this gets to be too much, you alternate right and left. Big press, straight arms at the top. 10 seconds, we're going into that sumo deadlift. Ooh, that's my shoulders. They're burning already. Three, two, one, right into that deadlift. Bring those weights down. Push your hips back behind you. Squeeze at the top, so from the side. You're pushing straight back. Keep it tight, keep that back flat. Squeeze up. Squeeze up. 15 seconds, we're going into the lateral raise. Then we have our second round, our final round. Four, three, two, one, lateral raise. You're bringing those weights right out to the side. Control it all the way up, all the way down. Remember, if this gets too hard, you bend your elbows or you alternate right and left. Either way.
Going back to those sumo squats in 15 seconds. Keep going. Three, two, one, sumo squat. Keep that chest up nice and tall. Fit it into those heels. Drop your hips straight down. Squeeze up. Push through those heels. You have 10 seconds. We're going into that Arnold press. Two, one, Arnold press. Push up. Stay strong here. Remember, when you press, don't lean back. You want to stand up nice and tall. Keep your abs tight. Squeeze everything. Ten seconds. Let's go. Big push. Three, two, one, sumo deadlift. So remember with this one, you're keeping your hips high and you're bringing that chest down parallel to the floor. Squeeze up. Remember not to let that weight travel out in front of you. You want to keep it nice and tight so that if you were to put it down on the ground, it would be bad by your heels. You want to act like you have a newspaper or like a clutch or something under your arms. Hold them tight. Five seconds. All right, lateral raises. Get them up. Remember, also remember the Barbie song. They're on right now. <laughs> what do you like? I love it. Fifteen seconds. We're moving on to our next circuit. Stay with it. Five, four, three, two. One, rest. All right, next one. We're doing an alternating lunge press. Hold on, let me turn this down a little bit. Let me shut my, off my space here. Warmed up fast. All right, alternating lunge press, bicep curls, alternating single leg deadlift, and our a raise. So for your alternating lunge press, you're going to grab your weight, you're going to lunge back, press up at the top, just like that, alternating right and left for one minute. Then we're going to go into biceps, so for your bicep curl, 
So you're going to do one curl to the front, one hammer curl. Okay, that's it. Then we have our alternating single leg deadlift. So there's two ways you can do this. You can do like we've been doing, plant that back foot, and then just step it forward and alternate that way. Or you can pick up that back leg if you feel like you have the balance and stability to do it. You can bring that leg back and up, just like that. And then for your A raise, palms are going to face forward. The weight is going to start right at your hips. They're going to meet your chest and bring them right down. All right, two rounds there. Let me get the timer going. Here we go. Three, two, one. Alternating lunge press right into it. Let's go. I know we just did all those presses. Double it up here. Big push. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds. Five step curls. One to the front, one hammer. One hammer, one front. All the way down, too. Make sure that arm is straight at the bottom. Big squeeze. Twenty seconds. Let them burn. Three, two, one. Single leg deadlift, alternating right and left. You can either keep that back foot planted and just step it forward and back or lift up that leg. Keep it tight, pushing up through that heel. Ten seconds. We're going into that A raise. Three, two, one. Right into it. Bring it up and down. No swinging, so you're not just coming here. Control it. If you need to modify, you're alternating right and left. I just picture this like you're scooping up a big pile of leaves. That's just what I think of when I do it. Right here. Up and down. 20 seconds. We're going back to that lunge press.
Go heavy here. Fifteen seconds. Going into those bicep curls. Three, two, one. Bicep curls. Let's go. One hammer. One to the front. Let's you keep going. Keep curling. Coordination's not there, 
You're just gonna do your curtsies to your lateral lunge. You're just gonna go side to side like that, okay? So that's our first one. Our second one, then we come down for push-ups. So you can come down to the floor, you can use a counter, a table, a couch, whatever you have near you for your push-ups. Then we're gonna come back up and do our curtsies as lunges and our leg lift on the other side. And then we're just gonna go into an upright row. All right, so there's a little up and down here. So I always like to warn my mom that that's coming. So a little up and down. We're gonna start. Here we go. Three, two, one, curtsy. Ooh, that was a big step to the side. Ooh. And lift. Curtsy, lateral lunge, lift out to the side. Take your time with these. We have a whole minute. No rush. Less than 10 seconds. Come down for push ups. Three, two, one. Let's go right down. Three, two, bring it up, curtsy on the other side. Left foot stays planted. Lend it out and lift. back into it. Remember, you're not just leaning to the side. Sit into it. If this gets to be too much, you alternate right and left.
Lift that leg. Stops, your elbow stops right at your side. 
you're good. If it goes up any further and you start dipping forward, you're not working your back. You're just yanking at your shoulder, okay? So alternating row. Then we're gonna go into a plank with a leg lift. Now you can do a high plank or a low plank for this. You're gonna come up and you're just gonna lift right and left, squeezing your glutes. So it's not about how high you lift your leg. I know a lot of you guys can probably get your leg like way up. It's not about that. You wanna squeeze your butt as hard as you can. Feel that, feel that tension there. And then we're gonna flip over for alternating fly. So you're gonna come up into your bridge if you want. You have your weight. You're gonna fly out to the left, fly out to the right, and then we're gonna go right back into those blue bridges, okay? Two rounds there, then we're gonna finish up with some abs, and then we're done. We got 16 minutes. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Starting with your blue bridge, lifting up and down. In three, two, one, let's go. You go up and down, squeeze that booty. Oh, yes. Okay. Lift it lower, 40 seconds to go. Push through your heels, squeeze into your glutes. Five, four, three, two, alternating back row. Bring it up, flip it over. Yeah, you have a whole minute here. You don't have to rush. Okay, cool. Keep those abs tight. You should feel those here too. Control it on the way up, control it on the way down. Don't let that weight slam to the floor. Should be nice and quiet. Less than 10. We're going into that plank with the leg lift. Three, two, one, high plank or low plank, however you want to do it. And if you need a modification, you're dropping those knees to the floor and you're just going to lift, lift. Make it work for you. Squeeze your glutes. Fifteen seconds. 
all the way down to the back, your arm hits the floor. Then you're gonna squeeze up. Three, two, one, back to that bridge. Down and up. Push through those heels if it helps you. You can lift up your toes. Okay, push. Try to keep those hips low. They're going to want to come up. Stay with it. Lift lower if you need to modify. Right here. Or if you just want more glutes and abs, right here. Lift lower. Less than 10, we're going into that slide. Three, two, one, flip it over. Alternating chest fly, or if that's not doing it for you, if you need more of a challenge, do both together and come up into that bridge. Open up, squeeze up. Open, squeeze. Five seconds. And rest. All right. Last circuit. Grab some water. See. Now we're going to end right around 9.50. All right. Here we go. We're going to do a weighted dead bod, one of my favorites. So you're going to grab a dumbbell. You're going to bring it back just a little bit. You're going to hold right here. And then you're just going to press out right and left. Now, there's an option for you. We have not targeted those triceps specifically. So as that leg comes down, 
So it comes out, you can add its self pressure. You know what? Let's just all do that. This is what we're doing now. I can make stuff up on the fly. I do all the time. I always have my plan. I will never stick to it. So we have our dead bug with our skull crusher. Then we're gonna go into a recline press. So you're just gonna sit up, lean back just a little bit. You're gonna push up and bring it down. Keeping your abs tight, tight, tight. And remember, that doesn't mean sucking your belly button into your spine. That doesn't do anything for us. What that means is you're bracing your core like somebody's gonna kick it and you're gonna block it, okay? And then we have a high plank with the knee crossover. You're going to come into your high plank and you're going to cross over side to side here. Again, you can do that on a counter or a chair. And then we're going to go into alternating supermans. Arms come up, opposite arm, opposite leg. Just like that, okay? My phone has 15% left. We've got to sail through this. All right. Here we go. We are starting in five, four, three, two, one. Send one leg up, skull crush. Press out. Oh, screw off. I knew that was going to happen. I'm sorry. The door was on my feet. Wait. 30 seconds. Fifteen. Ooh, not even a ten. Three, two, one. Bring it up. Lean it back just a little bit. Push up. Bring it down. If this gets to be too much, you just sit up and press. Okay? Still works. Or if you want more of a challenge here, grab two weights, press right, press left. However you want to do it. Ah. Big push. Big push. You got it. Three, two, one, high plank with the knee crossover. This is one of my favorites. It feels like a nice stretch in the back. Here we go. Cross right, left. Thirty seconds. Cross over right, left. Five, four, three, two, on your belly. Lift right leg, left arm, left arm, right leg. Looking right down to the floor, lift, lower. Squeeze up. Again, it's not about how high you lift. You don't want to crank into that back. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your upper back. And that's Charles doing it. I wish you could see it. Come over here. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Ten seconds. 
be one more time from the top. Three, two, one, weighted dead bug with that skull crusher if you want it. As that leg goes out, that dumbbell comes down. Don't do it. Why are you doing that? Take your time. Don't worry about speed here. You want to feel that shake. Bring it up. Recline press. Push up. Full press at the top. Big push. The further back you go, the more difficult it's going to be. Three, two, one, high plank with your crossover. You have two minutes to go. This is it. My phone is going to make it. I thank God. I hope, I hope it's not 5%. Well, you guys know what to do if I get cut off. <laughs> Cross it over. If this is not working for you, you just hold a plank or do any other core move that you like, okay? We are almost there. You're more than halfway. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Squeeze into it. Stay with it. 15 seconds and you're done. Three, two, one. That is it. You're done. Just sit back into child's pose. So just sit back on those heels. Stretch it out a little bit. Okay. Bring it up. Oops. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, we'll do that. They see you stretching and they stretch. Come up to a tabletop, just do a couple cat cows. Stretch it out. And then just push back into a down dog if you can. Walk those hands back to your feet. 
Get a nice stretch in the back of the legs. Roll it up. Roll those shoulders back. Your legs are all set. Excellent job. Thank you so much for coming. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. And I will see you Wednesday morning for another one. If you have any requests, any suggestions, any moves you want to do or format that you want us to try, let me know. Veronica, Deb, who else do we have here today? Lisa, Maureen. All right, ladies, have a great day. I will talk to you very soon. See you Wednesday.